Alrighty guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. This is your host ID Jester. We are playing Warframe and we are looking at another hero. This is Valkyr. Oh, look at her doing all kinds of fancy dancy flips. <laughs> Alright, so let's look at her powers. We'll talk about them. We'll show you a little bit about them and uh, talk about what kind of build might be good for her and then... Uh, Run a few tests and then hopefully a couple missions here. So this episode's all about Valkyr, who is a the melee queen. And when I mean the melee queen, she's really good at melee. <laughs> so if you like melee, this frame would be for you. All right, so her abilities. Rip line. So send out a little... Uh, find, uh, think of it as like... Um, Spider-Man, where you send out like a little web thing, and uh, you get drawn over to it. You can also uh, drag other enemies. You can hook them and drag them over, or if you target a wall or you know uh, uh, rock face or whatever, uh, you can kind of zip over to it really quickly. Although this power is more useful than I think. I've been using it a lot more. The problem is, the main problem is, you want to build Valkyr with duration and strength and um, Val uh, strength and um, uh, efficiency, which means you're going to hurt your range. So you can see our uh, range is only 30 meters on it, so way down from what it defaults to 75 meters, which is really nice. Um, but because you don't need a lot of range for a lot of her powers, and the two powers you do want to use, which is War Cry and Hysteria, don't use that much range. Um, so range kind of takes a hit in favor of getting your other powers up and running. So Ripline. I think it's a B power. It actually, uh, you know, you can use it for a little bit of damage, although it does, you know, a little bit. It's not a lot. Um, but it's kind of your get out of dodge. Uh, if you're facing a tough enemy power, uh, you can just rip line them and it'll knock them down, give you a second to, or, you know, drag them over to you. Or if you're doing a capture mission, you can actually rip line the guy back over to you. So, I mean, it's got a few uses. Uh, and it's pretty quick power. Uh, so, you know, I would give this maybe a B power. I think a lot of people think it's like a D power or maybe a C power at best. I think it's got a lot more uses for it than uh, people give it credit for. It's easy to get around with uh, Valkyr, so uh, I like that. Then we come to War Cry. Oh, sweet War Cry. So basically she yells out. If your allies are within range, and that's the only bit of range that's associated with this, uh, that and the enemies, uh, they'll get a buff, and the enemies will get a debuff. But the most important thing is the buff you're giving yourself, which is a, a speed increase and an armor increase. So 87.5% speed increase and an 87.5% armor increase. So really good. We don't really worry about the speed decrease for the enemies. That's, again, why range is not that important. If you're standing next to one of your allies when you cast it, all the better because they'll get your buff as well. So, uh, you know, if you're in a public match with a Valkyr at the start of the mission, make sure you're standing next to her because they probably didn't build for a lot of rage. Then we go to Paralyze, and uh, you sacrifice some of your shields, you send out a little shockwave, you stun your enemies, and you damage them. Uh, but basically, you're only doing that for the stun. And because you're losing your shields, uh, it, the only good thing about this power is it's really cheap. It only costs five I think, it def I think it defaults to 7 or 8 or something, but because of your efficiency, you're going to get it down to 5. So it's really cheap to cast. But you're losing a third of your shields every time you do it. Uh, again, shields aren't the most important thing in the game, but the most important thing is you stun the enemies. But again, we're kind of sacrificing a little bit of our range for this. So we don't use this that often unless we get to a really tough 
enemy. We can zap them really quickly and uh, kind of stun them. That's what we're going for. It's a little stun so we can get a damage multiplier on him. And then Hysteria. Oh, sweet Hysteria. So you basically go into Immortal Mode. And you take no damage and you whip out your claws and you just go to town. Uh, the important thing with this is the... Um, is the... Uh, uh, what should we do? Um, yeah, it costs energy per second, and the energy per second ramps up really, really fastly. So, like, it starts off here, you can see energy per second, 1.12 energy per second, and that'll go up significantly the longer you keep it on. So you want to turn it on, turn it off, turn it on, turn it off, turn it on, turn it off, uh, and, of course, keep your war cry up at all times. So let's... Um, and her passive ability, fast recovery from being knocked down. So uh, that is, I would say, an A power for passive powers compared to some of the other heroes we've looked at so far. This passive power is way better. Because being knocked down allows the enemy just to shoot, shoot you, you're stunned, you can't do anything to defend yourself, so being able to recover faster, much better. So Ripwine is probably a B power. Warcry is an A power. Paralyze is a B power. Hysteria, I would give that an A as well. Uh, maybe even an A plus, because between Hysteria and Warcry, you're all about melee, right? So uh, you get your Valkyr Prime Talons now, which is an exalted weapon, so you can upgrade them, put mods in, and build them however you want. You get a um, Hysteria uh, stance with it as well. And that'll level up as your hero levels up. And this is the build we have for it. Unfortunately, it shows status 0.0%. I don't know if that's a bug in the system with the updates and the changes they've made recently. It's supposed to be everywhere I see information. It's supposed to have a 10% default of 10%. I don't know if they changed it and some of the websites just haven't been updated. But if we go to Config B, which has got nothing on it, you can see it's still got a status chance of 0%. So not sure if um, we're going to have to build this a different way with a 0% status chance now. But it does have the highest critical chance in the game. It starts off, I think, at 50%. So uh, and here's our build for that. Obviously, uh, you want to keep your uh, nice, decent melee weapon. We're going to use my uh, one of my favorites, the Guandano. And uh, here's my build for that. If you guys uh, are interested in that, there's what that looks like. All right, let's look at her build now. So what we're really interested in is duration. And we're interested in strength. And we're interested in getting good efficiency so there's a lot we would like efficiency what efficiency is going to do is anytime you have an ability that drains energy per second such as hysteria the better your efficiency is the lower the drain and so what I actually did was switched out a few powers or swapped around a few powers here um, let's see what? I see I don't have anything to get rid of, really. Get rid of this. That would take us back down to 145. Let's get rid of Transient Fortitude and put back in uh, Streamline there. That's that's what I was running. And I think, even though the priorities don't match, it costs me a little bit extra. But I think this is a better setup because the duration, we want lots and lots of duration. So we activate Warcry, it's going to go for 36.75 seconds, right? The only problem is we do take an armor and a speed decrease with that, which is kind of a bummer. Kind of a bummer. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a it's a kind of a tie between this getting more strength, you lose some efficiency. And uh, if we go back to abilities, we get much better 87.5% armor and speed increase. And our energy per second goes up from 0.71 up to 1.12. So 
about a half an energy more per second. But that's why we do have uh, the primed flow in here so we can have lots of energy. Speaking of which, uh, if we just take everything out here, show you what our defaults are. Mm -hmm. So our default is 700 armor. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, Valkyrie Prime is the hero with the highest armor in the game. It defaults with the highest armor in the game. Of course, I think Rhino can get more armor with all his uh, with his buffs and his uh, special augments and stuff. But I think Valkyrie starts with 700, which is, as we mentioned, armor is king in the game right now, in the meta of the game. Armor rules over everything. So having huge armor, really good. Energy is kind of low, 225. I think def uh, like mid-range is 250. Uh, health of 300 is uh, about average, and shields of 150 are pretty low. Uh, but with that extra boost to the armor, though, that's, that's really good. And she does have a really good 1.10 sprint speed. So after all of that, we have our buffs here, and you can see when, uh, we have Steel Charge for melee damage, we have Rush for sprint speed, we have Transient Fortitude. Again, this is kind of, uh, you know, between getting better efficiency, which keeps that energy per second down, but uh, getting some strength on this would be not a bad idea either. So Transient Fortitude for some strength. We do lose a little bit of duration which also sucks, uh, which means um, we're going to show you what we can do about that. Steel fiber for extra armor. So we go from 700 to 1470, which is huge because our 1470 armor, when we activate our war cry ability, is going to go up 87 point. And we're going to get a buff on that of 87.5%. So whatever that mathematically adds up to, that's, that's a lot. Of armor which is what you want in the game so steel fiber intensity for some uh, ability strength narrow-minded for some duration we kill in our range but duration is more important to us prime continuity for more duration prime flow for lots and lots of energy because if we want to keep hysteria up and running as long as possible because as we're doing that we are invulnerable Vitality for some health in case we do get hit when we're not in Hysteria. And then the one and only augment that you will need with with uh, Valkyr is Eternal War. It is, uh, while Eternal War is active, the duration is increased by two seconds each time you get a melee kill. So you run around killing things in Hysteria with your... Um, war cry going on which gives you a nice huge buff and as long as you keep killing guys it's going to continue going and going so you can see right now it's oh, uh, wrong button there uh, we activate war cry it's going to activate for 33 seconds but every time we kill somebody it's going to go up for two seconds so after you get a crowd of enemies around and you kill them it's going to go from like 20 seconds back up to 44 and you're going to be like, wow, great. So you can keep this going pretty much from start to end of the mission as long as you keep killing guys. Now, if you're in a public group and you've got lots of people killing enemies before you have a chance to run over and melee them, it's going to be a problem. But the armor increase, speed increase is huge. And, of course, like I said, if your enemy or if your allies are within uh, 10 meters, when you activate it, they'll get the buff. And if they're not, too bad for them. And then if any enemies are within 10 meters, they'll take a speed decrease, but that's not really that big a deal because you're going to want to be killing them anyway. So let's show you how all this works now that you understand your powers and such. We are going to unequip our sentient so we don't have anybody uh, bothering us. Let's go. Let's make sure we're at maximum health and... Let's get rid of some of these guys, yeah? All right. So we'll just uh, add in uh, like six of these guys is fine. We're just going to pause them. We'll make them rank. Oop, nope. Let's go uh, rank 50. Let's go. And simulate. All right, so we'll show you our powers. So rip line, as I mentioned, you can, can be Spider-Man. 
except for if you go off the edge. So it sends you like a little wave over and you can you can keep doing it back and forth a little bit, you know, as you're kinda helps you get around the maps, get up to higher areas and stuff. Uh, and as long as you cast it within like a second of when you previously cast it, it costs um, like half energy, I think it costs. And then if you cast it again, after that it costs like a fourth energy. So as long as you keep casting it, it can get pretty cheap. And of course you have to have somebody targeted. And we're going to fall off the edge again. But uh, you can also target enemies. See that? We just whammed him against the wall. You know, didn't do much damage, but, you know, he's he's a butcher, level 50. He's got uh, half half health and half, half his armor gone already. We do that again, I bet you he dies. Yep, because there he's his little gibble parts. Now, this is interesting because if you're playing with, say, um... Necros, who's running his um, corpse, uh, loot finder, whatever the, that power, desecration or whatever. When you do your little zip line and kill somebody, you'll actually tear them in half. And so Necros will actually get two loot drops off of your corpses. So that's, you know, just just keep that in mind. Uh, so yeah, I mean, it doesn't do a lot of damage, but if, if somebody's in, in the middle of attacking you... Yep, let's see... Um, Half his body left, the other half is behind. So that's number one. Number two. So we'll uh, give a nice shout. You can see 31, 30, 29 down in the bottom right-hand corner. That's our second power. And it'll start counting down. And because we have the Eternal War buff, as long as we are killing things, uh, that'll you know keep keep that buff going. So no problem there. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, uh, the enemies, since they were in, within 10 meters, they would be slowed down. We'll see that when we turn their uh, AI on. Uh, number th three, I'm going to come around this way so I don't knock them off the edge here, is send out that little burst like that. kind of stuns them. You see these guys. So if I'm doing melee, I'll come in and hit that guy. I, I can get a finisher on him because he's, he's stunned, right? So... Much easier to, and you notice our shields get uh, our shields. A third of our shields goes by every time. But notice we don't have much shields. We only have 150 shields, right? So you're gonna lose like 50 shields a a go, which is no big deal, right? All right, so that's one, two, three, and now uh, let's go ahead and uh, simulate this again. We'll bring these guys back in, and number four power now. Hysteria. So down at the bottom right-hand corner, you notice we have 600 energy. You see it's at uh, 0%, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. As, as the higher that number goes, the more energy that drains per second. So, uh, And basically right now I'm invulnerable. Notice up in the bottom, uh, top right-hand corner, my health and uh, shields are grayed out. I can still use my number three power and lose my shields and stun enemies, but it doesn't matter because I can't be hurt one way or the other. Notice we're at 75% now. Stun these guys again, right? But I'm invulnerable. And then uh, to reset it, you just turn it off and uh, hopefully you get some energy back somehow, some way, right? All right, so let's turn these bad boys on. What we're going to do here is we're going to switch over to our melee weapon, yeah? And uh, we're going to go to town. And these, these guys at level 50 do not stand a chance. Uh, we're going to add in uh, six butchers and... Uh, where's our default grenadiers? That's a bombard. Uh, oh, let's go to the grenier faction. I always have the hardest time... Finding the here we go. Let's add in, uh, say, five of these guys, too, because they'll fire at us. That's fine. They'll do a little bit of damage. Uh, there we go. Oh, I forgot to turn on the power, or turn on the uh, AI. Derp, derp. 
That's my first derp. I'm, I'm used to, uh, let's kill the enemies. Let's kill these enemies. Alright, let's take off the paws. There we go. Uh, so we'll... Butchers, we'll put five of these. Uh, I'll we'll put six of these guys. That's fine. And, uh, where we got? Uh, like six, six of these other guys. Where are they? Oh, I'm not in, uh... Guardia. There you are. I put in six of these guys here. So six, so twelve of them guys uh, versus us. Uh, and no longer pause level fifty simulate. Here we go. So turn on a war cry. I ain't gonna try anything fancy like turning on our uh, on our other buffs. Oh, thought I fell off the edge here for a second. And notice uh, we started at 36 seconds. We were up to 48 there last I checked. Because we killed them, and we get two seconds per time, right? So pretty easy, pretty easy. All right, now we're gonna we're gonna crank these guys up to say level 80. Now we're getting somewhere. Now we're getting somewhere. These guys will be a little tougher. Probably not gonna stand too much of a chance against us though. Gonna turn on our buff again. Oh, we still got our buff from last time, right? Down to 500 health. Down to 500 health. But notice because we got that high armor, 500 health really isn't 500 health. Where's uh, where's the last guy? Here he is. These guys with their little armor are a little bit tougher to kill now, right? Yep. All right, uh, I think, oh, don't fall in the hole. Why there's freaking holes, nobody knows. All right, that's pretty much that. Uh, no problems. We've uh, level 80 guys with just nothing but, to notice our buff is still, st our buff is still going. <laughs> uh, because of our, our kills per second. We got all of our energy back, which is nice. So, uh, yep. All right, now we're going to crank it up to level 100. Now it's going to be the danger zone. Level on, oh, uh, 100. Let's try 100. So when we do this one, now we're going to have to turn down our invincibility. But when we do that, they're all, oh, um, they're all going to die anyway. So turn on our number two power and turn on hysteria. There we go. I'm invincible. Come and shoot me. There you go. Shoot me. Shoot me. Come on. Here you go. Come on. Everyone, hit me. Doesn't matter. We're invincible. You can't do any damage to me. None. Zero. So you see this little ring around us? All right. So what that represents is um, uh, the damage that you have taken, which is up in the top right-hand corner, I think it will post that how much damage you've taken if you disable this whenever you're within uh, an enemies within that range let's just stun this guy you notice we got the we got the melee uh, stealth kill because he was stunned there or we got the uh, finisher bonus damage so that's why that power is good right so uh, that little ring around you, if you disable it and there's an enemy within that range, then you take half of the damage you would have taken during the time you had history up. So you want to activate it only when there's no enemies around. That's what that little ring is. All right. That was pretty easy, right? doesn't matter. Uh, 
We could put in, uh, let's put in some uh, heavy gunners. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter because they can't, they can't hurt you. They can't not hurt you. Uh, heavy gunner. Yeah, we'll add in the two of you guys, right? And we're going to crank these guys up to rank uh, 120. Doesn't matter because they can't freaking kill you. As long as you got the energy, as long as you have the energy, you can run this as long as you want, right? So simulate. So activate number two. Activate number four. Yeah. Come back here. Okay. It's on you guys so we can get the melee kills. Or the melee finishers. So these guys were outside my range. Uh, anybody else? Take it off. Hello? Anyone? Anyone? Oh, there's one. Turn it back on. It's that little red ring. That's what I'm talking about. It's a circle around you. you got to make sure there's no enemies. But, notice, um, if this guy would shoot me. Come on. You, shoot me. All right, so up in the top right-hand corner, you see uh, next to my shields there, it's at 500, 526, 552. All right, I can disable it as long as I don't see an enemy and I don't take any of that damage. All right? Um, but now I'll take some damage. Go ahead and damage me. There we go, 100, 227. I'm going to disable it now. Notice I took all that damage. Just like he had... Uh, oop, well, let's go ahead and finish this guy off then. Of 120, where are you? Stun you, and then just go in for a melee stealth kill. Oh yeah, one hit, and then disable it. So make sure you know you're blocked from interview views while you do that. And you know if you got a good efficiency going on, and you got prime flow, and you got 600, you know you can keep it running for 30, 40, 50 seconds. Uh, is there somebody else shooting me? Uh, I think there is. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Anybody else? Nope. Okay, it's just that one guy. So yeah, level 120 guys. Uh, with, with my Guindano, not even a decent, you know, uh, like a super good... Uh, you know, what, what they would consider a super good uh, melee weapon. Uh, if we take something. Let's quick equip the war. And we'll change the colors to match our outfits. Make sure we have energy. Without energy, we die, right? So, uh, simulate. So if we try to do it without her hysteria, it's going to be a lot more different. Yeah, see, you just, uh, this high level, you just take too much damage, right? So let's um, kill off the enemies here. So you got to be able to, uh, this high level, level 120... Oh, yeah, we're going to add in some, uh, let's see, heavy gunner. That's corrupted. Where's just a regular heavy gunner, dude? Jeez Louise. So we'll add in uh, five of these. Doesn't matter. Uh, and we'll add in a couple high armor dudes. Let's see here. I think... Uh, Bombards, yeah, 500 ally armor. We'll add in one of these guys as well, right? So kill off the enemies. Level 120. Go. Oh, we have no energy. All right. Hysteria. With our boop, with our buff going on, it's not going to matter now. Oh, 
just killed that heavy gunner in one shot. Here's the Bombard. 500 armor. Oh, just killed him. No problem. These are level 120. Obviously. Okay, we'll get behind the pool and, and then activate it again. Those are buff hands. Got another. Let's see if we can get a get a stealth kill. There we go. Look at them dead. Look at that. Beautiful. Hope we hear somebody. Oh, he just jumped off the edge like an idiot. So at the super high levels, yeah, you're gonna need. Uh, you're gonna need. I hear somebody. Why is it my? Oh, because I don't have any. Yeah, see. Their buff is still going on. And we killed him before he fell off the edge, but. Yeah, super high level guys, over 100. Yeah, it doesn't matter. You can put it in level 150. It's not going to matter. Because as long as they can't hurt us, uh, I don't know. I think I don't think I can get actually get up to 150. Yeah, 135 is because of my um, rank of 21 uh, prestige rank there. I can only go up to uh, rank 135. But again, we we'll simulate that. Their buff. See how fast you got up from her knockdown? Of course, we don't care if we got shields or not because, uh, Because uh, we're invincibles, right? So, put it back on immediately. So these guys will kill you in a heartbeat. Oh, what the hell? Did I fall through the edge? That was not cool. Bombard, level 135. See if we can get a stun and then get the melee kill. That's see that's why uh, that's that number three power, a little stun power, because I can get these finisher damage buffs. Where are you? There you are. I didn't want to fall off the edge like that said you. And we had 125 energy left. No problem, right? So uh, as long as you're getting energy, if you're running around with like uh, Trinity, who give uh, energy, uh, you can't actually get it back from Trinity. That's right. You're going to have to get uh, orbs off the ground are the only way, I think. Oh, there is somebody still out there. Oh, let's use our number one to go over there. And uh, number one, yeah, you can actually, you can actually target like the ground and have it zip over to the ground. So in that case, it zipped me right off the edge. But
Oh yeah, I think uh, it's got some uses, I guess. The zip line um, again. Enemies that are going to stand there. Uh, if we just simulate this again, level one thirty-five. Uh, let's see. Let's just get rid of a few guys here, uh, just to make it to test a little. Because I just want to show you one simple little thing, right? If you have like a bombard, right? Put in five of these guys. Level 135. Let me shoot missiles at me, right? There's our missiles, right? But they're trouble because there's so much armor. What you do is you just knock them, stun them, right? And then kill them. As long as they're stunned, they're going to die really quick, just like that. Six or five, whatever I put out there, five or six of them. I have a 135 Bombards, which has got a ton of armor and a lot of hit points, and they died. Stunning them. Stunning them with your number two power. I'm sorry, your number three power. Um, what's it Paralyze there. There's an augment for this. We'll actually uh, draw them in and stun them for twice as long. That uh, sounds really good, but I... You don't want to keep enemies around that long. You want to kill them and keep moving on, right? So, Warcry Augment, I think, is better. Of course, you could have both of them in there if you wanted to. Uh, yep. Yeah. You know, with Hysteria, you know, if you're running anything 100 of 100 or less. Uh, oh, yeah, by the way, Hysteria gives you life steal. So, that's another reason. If you're running low on life, you activate it, bam. You get some life back. You don't you don't need somebody to give you health orbs or anything like that. You can just get some health back yourself. Um, just trying to think of a another one is a lot of people like is the Anorax. The problem is with my Anorax is I haven't actually upgraded it yet. You can see I've actually. Um, I need to form of this bad boy a couple times and get some better mods in there. But we'll, uh, we'll take the Atarax in here. Switch over to our melee weapon. There we go. Make sure we get energy. Make sure we got all of our health. Uh, five, level 135 bombards. And let's throw in some heavy gunners as well. Why not? We'll throw in five of these guys. Again, it doesn't really matter. Because we're going to win. Activate your number two. Activate your number four. Hopefully when you're not getting attacked. Again, if they're giving you trouble, hit your number three power. Stun them. Get your melee finisher. Bummer, or heavy gunner, and you're dead. Uh, and just like that. Oh, shit. That's... So if this guy's giving you trouble, the other thing you can do is just zip line them really quickly. So if they're down on the ground, you can also get this still. Uh, so your number one power and your number three, both of them work just as well. Knock them down. Get those melee finisher... Uh, but if you're doing a, say, uh, level 1, you know, level 80 or less, right? And you're just fighting, um, we'll put in a couple heavy gunners and uh, a couple just regular Joe's Schmoes. So 6 versus 1, level 80s. Go. This time we're going to try and do it without our hysteria. Yep, 
His oh, nice. His Adorax is just throw that guy. Got the stealth finisher on that guy, and oh yeah, I whipped him around the neck and it slammed his head on the ground. So it looked bad for us there for a little while. We were down to just a little bit of... Oh, shit. Here I was talking smack and... Somebody... There you are. Stun you, right? Anyway, finish here on your face. And that's with an anorex that isn't even been upgraded. That's just a... Default out of the out of the box Anirondex uh, or whatever. Ad, ad, uh, hang on a sec. Whatever they're called. Mm, let's, let's see if we can find a decent level item. <sighs> I don't have that many melee weapons that are actually prime weapons. Most of them prime ones I have are like these big ass swords. Like the Graham Prime, the Galantine Prime. Uh, oh, we do have the Kagogi Prime. They've been upgraded pretty decently. Let's, uh, since these are punchy, punchy weapons, I need to change the look of them because right now they do not match and we do need our matcher core. There we go. We got little things hanging off of this. Beautiful. All right. Switch to melee. Level 80, 6 on 1, kill enemies, is go. I think he was just outside my range there. Come back here, you little schmuck. I headbutted that guy. That was funny as hell. Oh, yep, we're in trouble. We're in trouble. We're in trouble. Yep, we're in trouble. I just activated her hysteria. Oh, I like these little kagogis. That was a bad jump again. Thank you. And of course, then I over jump. All right. So that's that's Valkyr. Depending on what you're up against, you know. Um, you want to have a, a decent melee weapon and lots and lots of efficiency, lots and lots of energy so you can just run around invulnerable and not give a crap about anything. Uh, we're going to go to 120, right? And go. Activate our buff. Activate our stereo. And you're dead. Thanks for playing. Anybody else? Turn it off. Turn it back on. And turn it off. Boom. Done. Six on one. No problem. Level 120s. <laughs> All right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's leave this joint and see what we can find. Now you've seen it in action. 
She's uh, the melee queen, as I mentioned in the beginning. I don't know if I mentioned that she's the melee queen. Now you see why, right? She's got a decent sprint speed and huge armor. Uh, capture infestation. Neutral sensor. Yeah, we probably don't need any of these. Reward is capture mission. Oh, again, it's going to be pretty. Hmm. This would be interesting. Exterminate. Let's go into friends only. We're going to do an exterminate level 40 to 50. Because I only have three of them. If I go with people, well, actually, uh, hang on a second. If I go with people, yeah, exterminate, they, they won't try to run more than one. I guess we could do a public. That's fine. Uh, exterminate level 40 to 50. Sure. I think exterminates just kill everyone and then leave. So, like some of the missions, you can go more, more than one round. Like the um, uh, the survival and the uh, um, what's the other one? Um, excavation. Okay, somebody's. This tower is full of red points. All corrupted by the girls and There are void fissures in the area. Use these to crack open a relic. Fisher, defend yourself and use the to open relics. Use that relic to open Oh, we need all this reacting stuff. Reacting Pick up that argon. Neural century has turned these soldiers into mindless attack drones. Alright, five. Take, take that. A couple more. That's fine. Ouch. That's it. I recall melee. Notice our buff left though, so we're gonna have to activate our buff again, but we'll wait till we're next to somebody. There we go. We still get our buff in. So nullifiers are bad. I don't know if I mentioned that. Don't wanna be near a nullifier. This guy, bad news. We gotta kill him. That's why I have my melee weapons with me, just in case. Remember, we just have to. We're using like the, the shortest ranged possible weapon that we could possibly own. These these fist items. If I have my Windano, these guys would all be dead. Up, oh, we're down to three seconds. We weren't killing guys fast enough. Right, give you a nice buff. There you go. You're welcome. Oop, over here now. I don't care. I can get my buff back up. That's fine. Not invulnerable. Somebody's down. Where the hell are they? Oh, okay, over there. I've come for your rescue, my friend. I'm your rescuer. Oh, there's a gem in there I missed. Take it. We'll take it. Yeah. That's why I like these pole arms, because they give you a nice, decent range. Mm -hmm. 
Guess we're going up. We're not waiting on that guy anymore. There we go. Let's go crazy. In case we run across anybody else on the way out. Oh, you're, you're, you, that guy had a bad day. It's like the one guy between me and the exit. <laughs> um, we own this. We own that. Uh, I guess we'll go for another blueprint. Uh, you know what? Let's get the, let's get the Vesto Prime blueprint. That's fine. Another job well executed. Uh, and the cool thing is, while you're running Valkyr and you're running around with your melee weapons, you can put in your primary and your secondary weapons and just level them up. They'll just earn XP as you're as you're leveling up, and you're not even using them because you're you're basically just running around uh, with your melee, right? That was a pretty good mission. Let's try that one more time. Boom, 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 boom. All right. But I'm going to uh, switch out there. Yeah, I mean, yeah, just with these little these little fist weapons that only do, what, 49, 59, 69, 70 points of damage. That's what they do. Actually, th tell me they weren't. Okay, yeah, they were upgraded. I'm like, wait a minute, don't tell me they weren't upgraded. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's, that's what I have for those. Uh, yeah, I guess they do okay, but the problem is their range is just so bad right they have no range at all but if we take something like say the conan prime right now they got okay range but the cool thing about them is they actually have uh, i believe if i'm not mistaken you get double on a spin attack you get double damage so instead of like 3000 something it's like 6700 so we're going to do that, and we're going to make it look decent, and like that, right? And do we have any skins? No, we do not own a skin. All right, that's fine, that's fine. Operator, did you hear that? It said... And we actually just got out of the cooker, like, free weapons. As you notice, I'm still leveling things up. Which, like I said, is super fun because if you're leveling up your primary and your secondary weapons, you just want to get these XP'd up and you don't want to mess with them. You just run Valkyrie with a Miwei weapon and you're good to go. Hopefully that mission will still be there. There we go. Um, sure, we'll go for an exceptional one. That's super fun. I like it. I uh, I played I Val Galf Valkyrie like very early on, and I played her, and I was like, eh, she's okay. And then, so I didn't play her for a while, and then I played her a little while, and then I was like, oh, she's yeah, I don't like her. She's all melee. I don't I don't like melee. Blah blah blah. Which I normally don't like the melee. Right. So now. Oh yeah, we gotta do our slide attacks. Right. 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 And our little spin attack, right? I gotta go back after my. Are we not? Oh, it's because I don't have my Sentinel. That's why I gotta keep running over there. I did this last time we did a live stream too. I forgot to reload my Sentinel. There we go. Oh, I forgot to add her buff. No wonder. We're not doing any damage. Now we're just like. Just sliding through enemies, just just literally just destroying them all. Oh, oh, there was a green. Uh, yeah, uh, it's a control module. Ah, not having my sentinel is killing me here. Look at him. His body's still bouncing. Oh, treasure room. Open a few of these chests up. 
slash damage. I didn't see how much we did. I would like to see that because. Yeah, doesn't matter. Anybody we hit's gonna die. Oh, another treasure room. These aren't the good treasure rooms. These are just the... Oh, there you go. There you go. Slam into the one that'll explode in your face. Good idea. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, our buff ran out. That's all right. Let's see if we can get next to our... Oh, there's a jam over there. If somebody knows how to open the doors, I wish I did. That's what the, the Conans, you just want to spin to win, baby. Let's add our buff. We haven't even been running our... We've just been uh, running straight. We haven't been running our buff. Right here, buddy. Oh, we lost it because we ran into a bombard, didn't we? Huh. These guys were not going to wait for me, were they? Thanks, guys. That was oh. a close one. Yeah, with Zeus, it's all about spin to win, baby. Up, 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 up. All right, take a little bit of damage. That's fine. Ah, how much treasure did I lose by not having my Sentinel? <laughs> That's what I want to know. How much treasure did I not get because of my Sentinel? Not being active. I don't know why Warframes just don't automatically do it. No, no. They want to they make you run around with the Sentinel. And we did 27% of the damage. It's not bad since we got lost for in the treasure rooms for a while. 22 seconds. Some Yahoo we're waiting on. That's why I like my pole arm, because it gives me nice range. I can do my little circular attack, my guandano. <sighs> I have two of those. I don't need this. I have 16 of those. I guess since it's a silver item, I guess we should do that. Not the best Another reward. But we could actually run this by ourselves. That would be fun, but uh, it'd take us a few extra minutes. And well, I don't. And plus, we wouldn't get all the choice. We would just get whatever we rolled on our relic, which would kind of, you know, it's better. You never know. You might get something good from one of the other guys. In fact, most of the time, you get something better from somebody else. Even though I was running the exceptional um, relic there. Oh, he's squad. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty much Valkyr. Uh, melee queen. Good to rank up your other weapons while you're killing stuff. Uh, yeah, I think, uh, I think I'll be leveling up my Atarax, if that's what it's called, Atarax. Because that's got, like, serious range. So you can just... Spin to win on that bad boy right there with her buff. 
you know, uh, yeah, I think they did nerf this a little bit, but still, it's still supposed to be pretty good. Uh, you know, this weapon, I wish it would actually tell you the range, you know, that would be, that would be a good thing. Lots of different pole arms, lots of different swords. We could try the regular Joe sword that we just got from, um, we just upgraded this the other day. We got no accessory on it. What? Uh, let's go with this. Look at it. Ooh, can hardly see it, but yeah, sure. Operator, are you enjoying the view? Let's try the sword, just for you sword player users out there. Uh, let's see, is this mission still alive? We only got one more, might as well. Let's just finish up our finish up our uh, Axie relics. And then we'll call it a live stream, right? There are void fissures in the area. Use these to crack open oh yeah, I should uh, stand next to my heroes there, or my, uh... Are that was some good sword play there. Notice our, uh, countdown is up to 59 seconds right now, because we're killing lots of guys really quickly. And we already got our uh, thing, so that's good. Oh, yes. It's got a nice little lunge forward power. I love that. I like this sword a lot. You guys go after them. I'll go. Uh, nope. I won't go that way, I guess. Boom, 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 boom. I'm way behind. Oh, oh. You're welcome. Uh, I'm not sure where they are. Not sure where they know where they're at. Where's our little dot? Really? Oh, you fucking... You can't jump up there, huh? Alright. I guess you gotta go up here and then over there? That makes sense. All right. Oh, now it's telling me to go downstairs! Oh, there's an Argon Crystal. Not that I care. Because I'm not really building anything with Argon. Oh, and we forgot to get our... Sentinel. What the hell? Where's... Sexa... Oh, this is ridiculous. I don't care. It's just an Argon Crystal. I'm not sure why it was up there to begin with. Hikes! That was not what I wanted. Now, this is why I have a gun, just in case you get something that you don't like. Like that. I have to actually run over the things I want. There's a red crit. I don't even have my buff running. What am I doing? Oh my gosh. Crazy. There's a gem over here somewhere. Haha, <laughs> that was perfect. See, our buff is just going to keep going. 50... That's why sometimes running solo is better because you don't have to worry about all the uh, all your allies killing all the. Okay. Wonderful, 
wonderful. Ah, Kilgi Prime boots. I already own two of them. It's just a common item. Yeah, let's just go for Forma. Actually, uh, I should have uh, clicked on that other guy's. Took 7% of the damage. Well, yeah. Yeah, you can see a uh, nice, fast little sword. It's got a pretty good range. Not great, but it's great for single target takedowns. Uh, we did a couple spins there. Was not bad. Uh, but, you know, everybody has their own style stuff. So whatever you like. If you like melee, Valkyr is the lady for you. I'm telling you, she is the bomb. Like I said, getting around with her, uh, her little zip line, rip line, whatever you call it, pretty good. War crying, a power. I mean, with that, with that uh, augment, where it just you can keep it running for as long as as you just keep killing guys. It's awesome. Doesn't cost that much energy. It only costs 75. I mean, you know, if you have to, you can cast it over again. Hysteria. Awesome, awesome power, and like we said, paralysis and, and ripwine, good ways to knock people down that you're having problems killing, and get those, um, get those stuns, and uh, the uh, melee finisher damage boost, and you have no problem taking these guys out, like you saw in the simulacrum. Fast recovery from being knocked down, awesome power there. Definitely an A-frame, definitely an A, um... Yeah, doesn't have much weaknesses with uh, with her at all. The fact that she comes with 700 armor defaults, uh, and you can buff that up to 1470, and then buff it up again another, you know, 87.5%, uh, which is going to make it, you know, you're going to be in the 3000 range, somewhere around there, I think, uh, in armor. So even if you got 500 health and you got 3,000 armor, that's a pretty good thing. Uh, and you can, you know, run with your allies. So, uh, you know, give give them a buff too, and they'll be happy to have you in the group. So that's good. All right, guys. Well, that's a look at Valkyr. Uh, yeah, I like her. I think she's really good. If you want to see her outfits, um, I know a lot of people like that. Uh, we have a couple different setups here. I like this one, the bright red, which is nice with the gold and the gold energy. And then uh, I don't know if I, oh yeah, I have the, this other one with this um, beset helmet. I must have got that from something, but that's that. It's pretty decent uh, looking helmet. Let's look at uh, what that helmet looks like in here. Yeah. Not as not as good as the prime helmet, I don't think. She's got lots of different uh, skins and helmets, as you can see, because she's been in the game a while. Oh, I actually have this one as well. Interesting. I don't like that look on with this costume, but I do like this look a real lot. That's a nice one, right? And uh, if we go to attachments, are they copied? Yeah, okay, they are copied. And what do we have for? We don't have a yeah. We don't have one uh, attached here, so we can add something like that. Copy the colors because she's got the little things on her arms, which also are there, which kind of go together pretty well. So that's what she looks like. A plus, a a a warframe for sure. Maybe even a plus. I mean. Armor, invulnerability, uh, way to heal yourself, uh, throws a way for you to get energy back as well. Pfft, she'd be unstoppable. But uh, that's that's her only one downside is not she relies on having lots of energy or picking up lots of energy orbs. So if you're running around with uh, Necros who's dropping health orbs and um, energy orbs all over the place. That's a great combo. Great combo. 
Anyways, guys, thanks for joining me. We will see you guys next time we look at another Warframe hero. Thanks for watching. Leave your thoughts, comments, suggestions down below. We'll see you guys next time.